Hello, this is a console that I got from somebody in the UK and it uh, has an E74 error, the first Jasper I've ever seen with a GPU problem. It is a Jasper V1, so still using the 80 nanometer EDRAM. Now the E74 error occurs when there is a communication failure on the high speed IO bus between the GPU and the EDRAM. And the high speed IO bus is located on this green substrate, so it's not actually a problem on the board or the board to the chip communication. The problem is between the substrate and these two dies, or the EDRAM die may be completely faulty and not responding when the GPU tries to train it. So that's where E74 comes from, and also if you ever see an E73, that comes from the same fault. So I'm going to be removing this GPU and replacing it. Now I will actually be installing a Kronos 1 GPU, which uses the 65 nanometer EDRAM. Now these are the best chips that you can get for the 360 because they are the most reliable and I've never seen one of these fail ever. Literally. Ever. And this one specifically is one that I pulled off of a console that somebody had fucked up beyond repair. So I had pulled this GPU off a while back to uh, reuse it to, on another system. And obviously since Jaspers pretty much have no GPU problems, I have not needed it until now. With the GPU cleaned and ready, it's time to get the board prepped. All right, so here is the system. Here you can see is the old V1 GPU. Now this chip is uh, damaged, so I'm just gonna put it in the garbage rather than uh, keep it, okay? Here's the system. Let's go ahead and give it a first boot. Will it start? Yes. The system is working. The repair is successful and it is booting up into the software. All right, I'll go ahead and just show you the things. Get that unplugged and here you can see is the Kronos One GPU, part in a little bit of flux. It's nicely installed on the board. Now you can see the difference in the size of the EDRAM. If I bring the original GPU here you can see the EDRAM die is bigger on the V1 because it's an 80 nanometer EDRAM with a 65 GPU. On the Kronos, it's both 65. Now, as you can see, it's just a drop-in replacement. I don't have to change anything in the firmware or anything for the Kronos GPU to work on the Jasper board. I will point out that the uh, V1 GPU is kept at 71C versus 73 on the Kronos. So I actually don't need to edit the SMC config either 
because having the GPU two degrees cooler is not going to make any difference whatsoever. I'm going to go ahead and clean up all that flux that's left around the chip and everything so that it's nice and clean and then we can put the system back together and it's finished. Hope you enjoyed!